The sun is the source of life-sustaining energy here on Earth. Much of how it works and affects us remains a source of scientific mystery. Sunspots were first recorded by humans in the 1600s. Astrophysicists have since linked heightened sunspot activity with the solar wind. It's a million mile an hour force of magnetically charged particles emanating from the sun's upper atmosphere. Ebbing and flowing in minimum and maximum intensities over 11-year cycles, this so-called space weather can seriously affect how things work here on Earth, such as disrupting satellite communications, telephone service, and personal electronics. It would help uh, our technology uh, to safeguard the technology by knowing when and in what intensity space weather occurs and where these effects might show up. Two, one... Ignition and liftoff of Discovery and the Ulysses spacecraft bound for the polar regions of the Sun. Until the launch of Ulysses from Space Shuttle Discovery in 1990, data for understanding and predicting space weather had come from a limited sampling area, the plane extending from the Sun's equator. Ulysses has since made three orbits above and below the poles of the Sun vastly expanding the territory from where raw space weather data are gathered. So Ulysses was really the first spacecraft that leaped out of this confinement and gives us a view of the global heliosphere. Ulysses has found that the solar minimum we're in right now is producing the lowest levels of solar wind seen since accurate readings became available a half century ago. But for heliophysicists, these data raise as many questions as they answer. The space age is only 50 years now, and uh, the sun just operates on longer time scales than these 50 years. So we might have glimpsed just the surface of what is really going on. By expanding its reach, both in time and space, Ulysses is helping the discipline of space weather prediction grow beyond its infancy for the betterment of life here on Earth. For more about Ulysses, the heliosphere, and space weather, log on to www.nasa.gov slash missions and click on Ulysses. Yikes. Yikes.